Want to wake up early consistently? Is that a dream for you? Let us examine that. How to wake up early consistently using Ayurveda's Dinacharya techniques. In this video, we are going to understand that. Watch this video completely till the end. If you want to know the six powerful techniques to wake up early consistently. Are you ready? I hope you are. Get your pens and papers. Let's begin today's video. If you're watching me for the first time, please hit the subscribe button. If you are watching on YouTube or if you're watching on Facebook, hit that love symbol. And let's begin. Namaste. This is Sachin Abbar, founder of Self Healers Hub and I'm on a mission to help 100,000 busy working professionals live a healthier, happier and a more energetic life by mastering their digestion, by mastering their food and emotional habits so that together we can create more healthier and happier families. So let's begin today's video on how to wake up early consistently. All right. So let's begin that. What is the first point? So make your eyes on the screen, fix it on the screen right now. Let's see. First one is this reducing late and heavy dinners. Many of us do this right midnight cravings midnight problems midnight thirst we face this why because we are awake at that time of course i considerably understand if you're a night shift worker then yes if not then why do you need to be waking up at 11 30 12 just to check social media you see, if you are having more and more dinners or late dinners or heavy food in the night, you know, about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, how will it digest? How will your body digest? And you're trying to wake up early in the morning. You will face less energy. You will face lethargy. You will face resistance. When you want to wake up early, but you're having late and heavy dinners. Let me give you an example. Let's say you went to a party. Let's say you went to a, uh, a reception. Let's say you went to a marriage. You went there. What happened then? You ate like there is no tomorrow. How many of you have faced this? That you ate so much and in the morning you still feel it's not digested. You feel groggy. You feel grumpy. You feel tired. If you have experienced that, ladies and gentlemen, just type out in the chat box, I have. Type out in the chat box, I have. If you experience this. You see, it's just an experience. Understand the experience. If you had late and heavy dinners, you would have had trouble waking up early in the morning. For me, between 8 to 8.30, I finished my dinner. So if I finished my dinner in the morning, I'm waking up by 6.37 consistently. Consistently, I'm able to wake up. It's not about waking up at 5 a.m. because others are waking up. It's about waking up at a time when it's not too late, like 9 30, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. Hmm. You know, that is a little challenging, but you know, 6 30, 7, 7 30, it's practical enough. Yeah, I hope it is. I hope it is. So let's move on to the next point. Yeah, next move on to the next point. Sleeping on the left side decreases acidity, increases your sleep quality. Sleep on the left side and see the benefits of great sleep. So automatically when you are energetic, you will wake up early. See, what is the role of sleep? It is to energize you, repair you. Yes. And sleeping on the left side help us do that. And also keeping our head towards the east also helps. This is a very well known culture in our country, keeping our head to the east while sleeping and not keeping it towards the north, right? That's very profound science in our culture. So that is two points in this sleeping on the left side and sleeping by keeping your head to the east will be very powerful. You will see drastic improvement in your sleep. Drastic increase will be there. Let me tell you that there will be a drastic increase in the quality of the sleep. All right. So this is second point. First point was reducing late and heavy dinners. Second point was sleeping on the left side and sleeping with your head on the east. Yeah, this will help you 
re-energize, repair, so that you can wake up early consistently. Yeah. Next is clearing your urges before sleeping. Many of us do not do this, maybe. And that's why it disturbs the sleep in the middle. You get, you know, an urge of urine. You get an urge of uh, bowel movement. Because you not cleared it before going to sleep. It's very simple. It may seem simple, but it disturbs your sleep. When it disturbs your sleep, you have trouble sleeping back. So what do you do? You will start checking your social media at that time in the night. It's as simple as that when the nature is setting the sun down, automatically your sleeping hormones, sleeping chemicals in the brain is starting to come up. So in Ayurveda 6, from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. again a kapha period. Then from 11 p.m. to almost uh, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, it's again pitta period. From 3 o'clock, the vata period starts. You see, when the kapha is there, you would have seen 10, 10, 30, 11, you will feel a little sleepy because your head is heavy. The kapha is increased in the system at that moment. See, nature wants us to do. Ayurveda is also saying the same thing. So clean your urges before sleeping and go to sleep. Will be very powerful. All right. Okay. So what is the next point? One hour before sleep, no digital devices. Please understand, if you want to sleep well, avoid one hour before sleep time. Let's say your sleep time is 11 p.m. By 10 p.m., make sure your mobile is switched off. Make sure your laptops are not working. So that you have that mind stillness when you're sleeping. Or else, how will you wake up early if your mind is always running? Right? How will you wake up in the morning? Tell me, how will you wake up? It's not possible, right? It's very difficult, right? So that's why one hour before sleep, if you are not having any digital devices, then that's really good. You can read a book. You can do pranayama. You can do light meditation in the night to calm down your mind to sleep better so that you achieve the objective of sleep that is re-energizing and revitalizing and repairing yourself so that you can wake up early consistently, right? So third is one hour before sleep, no digital devices. This is a very beautiful Ayurvedic technique of massaging your feet with coconut or sesame oil will really get you to sleep. This is very powerful. This, this technique is very powerful. I have tried this. It works like magic. After some days, I started practicing no one hour before sleep, no digital devices. Automatically, my sleep gets better. Yeah, I, I'm practicing many of these, what I'm telling you. Yes, so I am really confident this works. You know, when you are in that no digital devices zone, automatically you will feel silent. You will feel, you know, like I have closed my eyes. You will feel really good like that. When you're not engaged, you're not engaging in your mind, right? Next is you have only 16 hours a day. So plan your day and sleep early. You don't have 24 hours. You need seven to eight hours of sleep. So make sure by 11 p.m., your sleeping means by 10 p.m. your work should be done. After that, you need to sleep. You need to sleep. That's it, right? That's the thing. Yes. So you only have 16 hours a day. Plan your day and sleep early. You will be giving excuses right now. No time, too much work. Everyone has that. But still, many people are able to sleep and get up early, right? So let's say you want to wake up at 5 a.m. You take a lot of courses. But you're sleeping at 1 p.m. in the night. How will you wake up at 5 a.m.? You will feel tired. Your body, you're overexerting your body. Just because it's a trend now to wake up early. If you're sleeping at 1 p.m. in the night, 1 a.m. in the night, I'm sorry. Yeah, then how will you wake up at 5 a.m.? You need to sleep by at least 10.30 to wake up. Right? So that is the key, guys. Sleep well. Try yoga nidra to get really good sleep. But understand, you have to sleep a little early to wake up early. It's as simple as that. You trying all the things. How to wake up early? How to wake up early? First, focus on sleeping early. So automatically, you'll wake up early. 
yes one more really one more really powerful technique which i want to share you know while you are sleeping is telling your mind when you want to wake up this is very well known right when you have a flight ticket or a train ticket you automatically get up so what is the purpose to wake up early what is the purpose many of us don't have a purpose to wake up in the morning early let's say it's to prepare a delicious breakfast for your family wake up with that purpose for me is to create this kind of videos create an impact on my paid coaching members that makes me wake up daily 6:30 7 o'clock boom i am waking up purpose is there maybe you love coding yeah you love coding you want to code well wake up with that purpose like are yaar tomorrow again i have to work again i have to get up your mind will be not allowing you to wake up early at all so have a great purpose and say yes i want to wake up by 7 am or i want to wake up by 6:30 am put that intention in your mind and go to sleep and you will wake up by 6:30 am see this also happens if you wake, sleep at 1 pm and say i want to wake up at 5 am you will but then the energy is not there the sleep has not happened correctly you'll feel groggy grumpy the whole day as i mentioned you want to sleep well you only have 16 hours a day plan your day plan your day and sleep well sleep early little bit so that you can wake up early and how do i sleep early given you all the things reduce late and heavy dinners sleep on the left side clean your urges before sleeping one hour before sleeping no digital devices massage your feet with coconut or sesame oil at the bottom of the feet and sleep well ladies and gentlemen so that you are waking up in the morning with full awesome energy all right i hope this was helpful until here tap it in the chat box w u e wake up early type it in the chat box w u e in the chat box wake up early so when you have wake up when you are waking up early see the maximum benefits you can plan your day you let the day begin with a good note you win the morning you win the day and you will have a great better awesome life right right or no let's see some comments over here very effective information thank you veen veena ji thank you so much for putting that out there Veena ji, if you want to, if you want help in changing your food style, yeah, please, uh, you can uh, always uh, go and join my VIP group, VIP dot Selfilas VIP Facebook group. Yeah, you can go and watch that. Go there, you can join that group to be connected, and you can join my Gaddi Docs program, VIP dot ly slash three hour GDM. Very easy. there i'll help you understand your uh, food and body type and everything so guys all the links yeah there are three links if you want to be in connected connection with me if you love this content there are three links if you're watching this on my youtube channel link is in the description if you're watching on facebook here are the links https bit.ly/3hourgdm is my gut detox program if you want to meet me live If you want to stay connected in the Facebook group of over 900 members now, go to bit.ly/selfhealersvip to join the group. Yeah, and if you want to get started immediately on your health journey with my coaching, yeah, go to go to bit.ly/join-shb. You can see a lot of interviews which I've done with successful students. You can watch those on my YouTube. Also, there is a playlist called Hall of Healers. You can watch the amount of results people are getting in their head and get started on your journey with us all right so these three are the places you can stay connected with me and i hope you really loved this video so links are in the comments and description of the video thank you so much for watching this video i hope i delivered on the promise of how to wake up early consistently i've given you the techniques please implement it and wake up early consistently and get your day right by getting your morning right Thank you so much. Namaste. This is Sachin Habar, founder of Self Healers Hub, signing off. Until we meet again, ladies and gentlemen, be healthy, be happy, and be unique. Namaste.